Welcome to my channel! Today's video is a bit different from usual. Last February I finally caved and bought a Lola's PC and because I'm stubborn, I'm a DIY kind of girl and I like paying less, I decided to build it myself. FYI, this isn't meant to be a guide, it's more like a testament to the fact that if an Italian lady full of anxiety could do it, you're absolutely good to try it too. <laughs> Everything I know I learned from PC Builder here on YouTube. They have the sweetest mascot ever. I'm Mr. Bar biggest fan. <laughs> the full list of components is in the video description, but I'm still gonna talk about them because I can and because I spent a year studying them, so now you have to listen to me. <laughs> Installing the CPU and handling the motherboard was the most unnerving part. They seem too fragile and I'm not the most coordinated person. I needed Wi-Fi, BIOS flashback and a smallish format, so I chose the ASUS Staff Gaming B550M Wi-Fi motherboard, which has all of the above. <laughs> For processor, I went with the Ryzen 5 5600 because it was the cheapest capable CPU I could stick in there. For productivity tasks, an 8-core CPU or an Intel CPU with integrated graphics might be better, but it depends on what you need. I'm easy to please because my laptop was 7 to 8 years old and I can confirm that compared to it, the thing is made for speed. <laughs> using AMD's stock fan, cause it should be enough for the CPU, but it will be the first thing I upgrade when I have the means. I also have 32 gigs of RAM, 16 by 2, 3200 MHz, <laughs> CL16, that was a mouthful. No RGB here, cause I already have pretty light somewhere else in my build, and since I'm a bit photosensitive, I don't want to risk blinding myself, sneezing non-stop or giving myself a headache. For storage, I got a 1TB NVMe. This motherboard has two M.2 slots, which means that I can get another one if I need more space. The case is just a cheap, pretty MATX case I found on Amazon. It's a bit flimsy, but it comes with three pre installed Molex fans with FRGB a meshed front and dust filters on the top and bottom. It was like 45 euros on sale, so I love it for me. <laughs> My last component is a 550 watts power supply. It's a seat here in the PSU Cultist tier list and it should be enough for what I got. The GPU is a 3060-12GB. I went with Nvidia because I need to do a good amount of video editing and because the noise reduction option when recording is very OP. <laughs> I could have also chosen a 3060Ti which had better price to performance, but it was 100-150 euro pricier at the time of purchase. And I only have a 1080p 60Hz IPS monitor anyway, so a 3060 should be enough for me. I am a few months into using this build and I can proudly report it works like a dream. <laughs> I tried editing with my old laptop and I ended up almost crying in frustration. I thought I hated editing, but it turns out I just didn't have the right tools. <laughs> Now 
now I can do basically anything with no issues, so here's a list of games I'll be playing in the future. Please do consider subscribing if you're interested, and do suggest more PC games for me to play if you feel like it. Now for the moments of truth! Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye bye!